Hi everyone, my name is Vidya. I'm in the finance data and experiences organization within Microsoft. We provide financial solutions to other finance organizations within the company. I'm here today to talk to you about an application called Commercial Predict, how it uses machine learning forecast to enable users to forecast uh, revenue globally within the company. We look at an overview of the quarterly global forecast and the commercial predict forecasting tool. What is the landscape of the quarterly global forecast? There are three elements mainly, a geography, a product, and a segment. Multiple geographical areas around the world, several product hierarchies with multiple products beneath them, several segmentation hierarchies, for example, enterprise. How to consistently produce a forecast in a quarterly manner? and repeatable, that's the landscape we're looking at. The past revenue forecasting process was such that several analysts, 100 plus, would create a forecast by using Excel models. They would interact among themselves and produce these forecasts. These Excel models would then, the forecast, go to management review, where the management team would judge the forecast up or down based on the insights that they had. And finally, at the top, the CFO and HQ teams would push product and sales teams to land the closest to the pin forecast. These forecasts from the analysts didn't have a common nomenclature, definition, or standardization, nor was there an unbiased machine learning forecast that would give them additional insights to the methods they were already familiar with. So to address this, we have an application called Commercial Predict. A demo is coming shortly. The Commercial Predict application allows one to see machine learning forecasts alongside traditional methods that they're already used to. There are standard modeling methodologies with consistent definitions. That way, everybody's speaking the same language. There's also greater accuracy and the UI is built for efficiency to make the life of a finance user easy. Before we go into the demo, let's go through the overview of commercial predict. The end user interaction is through a commercial predict dashboard. Multiple data sources contribute revenue and other data and is brought into the commercial predict backend system. Consistent levels of forecasting have been established to make life easy for the user. Machine learning forecast is also run behind the scenes and it's all made available into one single commercial predict cube. From a user perspective, they can model the forecast as many times as they want iteratively and finally submit it back to the cube once they are satisfied. The system also allows users to generate a output form that they can use for other corporate tools from CP. I'll now go into a demo so you can see how Commercial Predict looks like. This is the landing page. The three elements I talked about, area, segment, and product, I can just choose them for what I wish to forecast. Somebody else may choose a different segment, but I have those options right here. When I click on apply, I get this table. In this table, I can click on a quarter like Q3, which is an open quarter in this example. And I have several things to look at. I can look at machine learning forecast in comparison to other traditional methods right there. I can also using these checkboxes, I can uncheck a particular method and not include it in my average. I can then see the average forecast right here. And as I scroll, I have access to KPIs, such as variance to budget. I can readjust my forecast based on what VTB makes sense to me as a modeler. The UI also allows me to see things for free, which I didn't have to worry about. This is the efficiency part I talked about earlier. 
I automatically get pricing levels for free in this example, which is one another breakout they wanted. And I can also see several KPIs and make any adjustments that I want. Taking this further, I can then also get the system to automatically populate the months for me. And I have access in this UI to update seasonality based on where I want the months to land. At the end of my modeling, if I'm happy, this is the submit button I talked about that you can click to save your data back to the cube. The UI is also optimized to make life easy for the user. Simple functionality like copy down and copyright allow you to just translate those selections without having to click many times. Thanks everybody for watching this. In closing, I'd like to thank all the teams in Microsoft who contributed towards building commercial predict. There were many teams that collaborated with us in a uh, partnership mode, and I just want to extend my gratitude to all of them. Thank you very much again. Mm -hmm.